I feel that the Deviant poster website and trailer work really well together as a cross media package. They all follow the same typography, the same sort of imagery, the same sort of dark and mysterious tone. And what I especially really love about the trailer is the fact that this this is mainly it's mainly um, just covered by the main image, which is a really strong image. And it's, a, and it's the actress who's playing the psycho gal, just to, just in dark, she's looking really powerful into the audience's eyes. And I think it comes across really, really strong. And it's the kind of thing that you look at and it kind of catches your attention. And I really, in the um, tagline, there's something different about Katie. What? What is different about Katie? I don't know. It creates a really good enigma code, and you kind of think, oh my god, what's going to happen? What is this girl going to do? And then I really, really like how she's used the um, Facebook and Twitter. It just makes it more 2012, and it makes it more, yeah, this is current. This is something that you have to go see because all the cool kids are going to see it. And it's a really good way of advertising. And with the um, website, I love how it has the same sort of feel to it. It's still dark, it's still the same typography, all of this. But I love how she sort of changed the image. I don't know whether you can tell, but this image is just slightly different. And it's um, more of a long shot with, with just Katie standing by the side. And I think that's really well done. And I saw in the trailer here, kind of, if it was me and I clicked onto this website, which I would because the poster had already, already got me interested, having the trailer here, it just straight away click, I'd want to see the film. Because the trailer is really good, the trailer is amazing. And um, the tagline is here again, and I think it's really, really good and lovely because there's something different about Katie, it just it creates more of a new code, and that running with the trailer just creates a really nice feel. Overall, I think the trailer is very, very good. The only thing I'd say personally that needs to improve is the fact that some shots are a bit too dark and it's all sort of the same. You can tell it's all happened over one night and that doesn't really fit the horror genre. It's sort of like long areas of um, long periods of time and lots of little things happen that, autom that automatically build up to one big climax. But that's just my personal view. But overall, I think the trailer is absolutely good. Really, really good. I think it's absolutely great. I really like how she's used different images and different sort of um, scenes to really like captivate the audience and like leave us wanting more. There's one bit where she just she takes a step out of the darkness into the light and it's really scary and it caught me off guard. I was like, oh my god, and it was really really scary. And I thought, oh my god, I have to see this film. It seems really really good. It seems really really nice. It seems really scary and I really want to know what's happened to her. So at the beginning of the film, it sees the uh, mental institution, which I think is a really nice touch. And uh, then you kind of think, oh my god, what's wrong with her? So it, all together, they create a really strong enigma code, which I think is fabulous. And another thing that I absolutely love about the, um, the whole sort of cross-media package is the fact that you can tell it's sort of, it is a package and it all comes together. All the colours, all the images, all the um, typography, it's all exactly the same. All of her captions are in the same lettering as the poster and the website so overall i think it's just got a really nice effect to it and yeah that's all i have to say